Welcome to our 10th Accelerate Demo Day. My name is Mohamed Abian, and I'm the Program Manager of Acceleration at QSTP. Demo Day is an important day for our aspiring entrepreneurs. It represents 10 weeks of intensive effort to shape and refine their startup ideas into a cohesive plan to launch their startup. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the teams for their commitment to the program and to themselves. I'm also grateful for your participation in Demo Day, taking time out of your busy day to support our future startups. They will need your support and investment in the exciting journey ahead. And the first step of that journey starts now. 11 teams will be pitching their tech-based inventions. We will start with the first half of pitches, then a short break where I will describe the many programs we have at QSTP to support startups. Next, the second half of pitches, followed by an opportunity for you to vote for your favorite team. And that's important because your favorite team will be declared winners who will closely work with me over the coming weeks to prepare their application, to register their startup at QSTP, and to provide additional mentoring during the first few months to support their success. So please don't forget to vote. I mentioned that this is our 10th demo day and fifth year in the Accelerate program. This achievement is only possible with the support and commitment of QSTP management, in particular, our executive director, Mr. Yusuf Al Salhi. And so I would like to invite our executive director to welcome you all. Assalamu alaikum wa ahlan bikum jami'an fi yom ard al من برنامج تسريع تطوير مشاريع تكنولوجيا اكسلريت لعام 2020. في هذا العام الاستثنائي الذي اثر علينا جميعا بطرق عديده بلغنا اليوم ختام احدث دوره في برنامج اكسلريت الشهير لدينا. منذ انطلاقه البرنامج قبل خمس سنوات استطعنا ان نقدم الدعم والمشوره لاكثر من 350 مشارك والان هم في خضم مشاريعهم اللي قاعد يقدمونها للمجتمع. واصبحوا ايضا عدد كبير منهم من رواد الاعمال الناجحين الذي ساعدنا جدا بمتابعتهم عقب البرامج اللي قدمناها في السابق. بالطبع لقد كان لفيروس كورونا كوفيد 19 تاثير واضح علينا وبالتالي قدمنا البرنامج هذا العام بطريقه افتراضيه وعن بعد وكنا سعداء جدا ومبهورين بالجديه والمثابره والابتكار وال والافكار الابداعيه التي خرجت من مجموعه الشباب المشاركين هذا العام والتزامهم ايضا رقم عملنا عن بعد وانا اشكر جميع اللي كانوا قائمين على البرنامج سواء من المشاركين او اللي قدموا البرنامج من الواحه او خارج الواحه في انجاح هذه النسخه التي كانت فعلا صعبه وملهمه لان نقدمها بطريقه مختلفه كذلك نحن سعداء في واحد قطع العلوم والتكنولوجيا ان نشاهد بعض المشاريع التي جاءت من برنامج نجوم العلوم ونتمنى لهم الاستمراريه في اقامه مشاريعهم المستقبليه. اود كذلك ان اشكر بالاخص الاخ محمد زبيانفور لعمله المتواصل لانجاح هذه النسخه واللي مره ثانيه كانت جديده علينا كلنا وايضا تعلمنا منها ان نقدم نسخ في المستقبل قد تكون افتراضيه وتكون ايضا فعاله بنفس الاهداف المنشوده في البرامج التي كانت في السابق وتم تقديمها. شكرا لكم جميعا مره اخرى استمتعوا بيوم عرض المشاريع لبرنامج اكسليت 2020 ولا تنسوا التصويت لفرقكم المفضله ونشوفكم ايضا في برامج جديده في الواحه مستقبلا وايضا نراكم ناجحين في مشاريعكم المستقبليه باذن الله. شكرا. Thank you, Mr. Yusuf. Let us now begin with the first half of pitches. Good afternoon, everyone. We're Vicky and Sara, founders of Hadika, and we are your gardening experts. We help people that live in the desert to plant their own oasis and bloom their daily lives by tailoring gardening advice specifically for the Gulf. But let us start with the story of our own Sara, who has lived her entire life in a Gulf country. In 2016, she decided to make her house more happy and green because she missed nature and green scenery a lot. 
So she bought some plants and looked online advice to find how to care for them. But despite all of her effort, energy and love, her plants were not happy and they looked burned and kept losing leaves. That was when she realized that probably the online advice she had found wasn't relevant for the Gulf region. By asking friends, she figured she wasn't alone. A lot of people in the Gulf countries buy or grow plants and they don't know how to care for them, so the plants die. So Sarah decided to create a Facebook group called Gardening Club to help fellow gardeners with advice. I joined the group from professional interest and because there is so much experience shared there. As the years went by and the group grew bigger, the, advice for the, the need for advice started becoming more obvious. So we decided to take things a step further and we created Hadika to offer this specialized knowledge of gardening in the Gulf through, st through structured workshops that help beginners and gardening enthusiasts to grow their plants in a harsh desert climate. And this is just the beginning. We are designing a complete garden for our courses where people of all ages will be able to learn, practice and have fun. This garden will follow certain principles and it will be possible to be copied into other countries worldwide. We are also working on a marketplace of products specific for the needs of the plants in the Gulf, such as grow lights and humidity meters. This year we will start from Qatar and we will slowly expand to the other Gulf countries where gardeners face the same issues. Our goal is to become a brand that educates, assists and offers comprehensive solutions for gardeners in the Gulf. To achieve that, our website will gradually grow into a gardening online platform offering advice and products for all types of gardening. Indoor, outdoor, hydroponics, composting, anything. This will be done by offering courses, advice from various experts in the platform, and products matching the needs of plants in the Gulf. And these are our three revenue streams and our income will come from each one of them. By looking at the global market, we have found various numbers and trends that support our idea. We won't present this, this data to you and tell you that the market is huge. We will only tell you that our group has grown by 230% since March to 7,000 members, all of them in Qatar. And these are all active groups, and we have more than 50,000 interactions per month. By sending out questionnaires to our members, we have collected actual data that's, that show that people spend on average 250 reals per month on their green spaces. So if we multiply this number by the number of our members, we estimated that the total market is 21 million Qatari real. In reality, the market is much bigger, as not all the gardeners of Qatar are in our group. We're aiming to get a 2% of this market in our first year, so 420,000 reals, and slowly grow to getting a 10% of the market within the next five years. As for the competition, there are many websites out there offering gardening advice, but none of them is relevant for the Gulf. There are two websites that popped up this year at the same time as Hadika offering gardening advice, but more focused on urban farming and they are from Dubai. During the past six months, we have reached out to our potential customers through social media and email marketing, and we already offered a few workshops. And we had 70 people signing up. Now, we're looking for $100,000 to grow. We want to create the content for our courses, build the garden, and spread the word to the other Gulf countries. And who would be better to do that than an engineer and an agronomist? Sarah is an engineer. She has lived in Qatar her entire life, and she is running her own business since 2014, so she can take up the technological and business lead. I'm an agronomist. I'm working exclusively in the agricultural sector since 2004 and in nurseries in Qatar since 2010. So I know the market, I have seen the problems that people are facing and I can offer the solutions. So, if you're hungry, call Talabat. If you need help with your plants, call Hadika. We are Tasar and we are here to save the oil and gas companies billions of dollars. So as most of you probably know, most of the uh, oil and gas software has been used technology since the 70s or the 80s or sometimes the 90s. And they, they, these methods have been outdated. So what we're offering here 
is a software that will give you better solutions. So we'll be able to solve these problems. Uh, and that will lead to more revenue and will lead to better estimation of reserves. Uh, so what are the solutions? We're applying uh, scientific based methods. These methods have been published and we are, they are robust and will be able to uh, estimate reserves more accurately than the previously used methods in the currently in the oil and gas industry. So this will lead to a better development strategies, more forecasting strategies that are more accurate and also will lead to more revenue and less legal fees. This is what you don't want. You don't want to have a water going through your well or a gas going through your well that you didn't know about. That would cause you legal problems. So what futures do we have? We ha they are mostly categorized in five categories. Speed, so it's super computer uh, uh, capable. You can model millions or billions of cells. It has advanced futures. You can model fractures, multi-physics, uh, unstructured grids, you name it. And also we're offering competitive pricing and flexible based access. So you can access the software either using your workstation, your laptop, or even a cloud base. So you can you reach it from anywhere and also you can use computer computational power from anywhere else in the world. And of course, we kept, kept that in mind. The input and output are industry standard. So you can use whatever you already have and the output, you can use it to visualize, visualize it in any software that you would like. So this is a very nice video that we have here. We, we modeled a very challenging SPE 10 case, which is uh, about million cells. And you can see how the water is propagating through the system and modeling the, the channels very accurately. This is a very competitive case and we modeled it very well in, in our software. So the value, as I said, we will be able to estimate reservoirs, reserves more accurately. That will save you millions or billions of dollars and you will not have legal fees. You don't want somebody, lawyers knocking on your door asking you why do you have gas coming through this well or water coming through this well and that will give you more money. So the market, as you all know, most of the oil and gas industry is about uh, is, is part of the economy of the world and uh, it represents about 4% of the GDP and it's about $3 trillion and most of this oil and gas is currently in the Middle East, more than 50%. And it has been estimated uh, by 2025 about uh, the oil and gas analytic software with $25 billion. And we want to have a slice of that. So where do we stand in, ter in terms of competition? There are, four there are mainly four competitors, Schlumberger, CMG of Canada, Rockflow Dynamics of Russia, and Stonebridge uh, Technology of the United States. And we're ready to compete against them. So traction. We've been testing the software with a couple of uh, oil and gas companies in Qatar, North Oil Company, Dolphin Energy, and so far things have been going very well, and we're ready to roll out our first MVP very soon. And also we are ready to, to link our software as a SaaS, so as a software, uh, software as a service model that will give us more market. So we'll be able to attract smaller oil and uh, oil companies in the United States, and Russia, Australia, and, and New Zealand, or Indonesia, or Brazil. So the advantages, we're offering a more accurate radio simulation tool. And also uh, we are a Qatari based education, uh, Qatar, excuse me, a Qatari based tech company born out of education city. And we have more than 50%, uh, 50 uh, years experience by the founders. So what's our product plan? Uh, we started developing in 2017. And 2019 we used technology ready level nine and in a couple of weeks we're ready to roll out our first MVP. By 2021, we're ready to introduce a second product, which is a more sophisticated product. It's a black oil and compositional. And by 2022, we have exciting new products also. So the team, myself to the left, Ahmed, I have more than 15 years experience in oil and gas. Dennis Voskov, more than 20 years. Kirill, 10 years. Long, long, more than 10 years. And all of us have, have doctorate degrees, either in applied mathematics, service simulation, or petroleum engineering. So please feel free to contact us uh, at qasr.qa or please feel free to, of course, to email me at the email below. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Alma, founder of Liz the Look. Liz the Look is a per to per service that allow females to rent, buy, and sell pre-owned fashion items simply online. But before I dig in deeper, let me tell you a quick story. Saira is getting married soon, and she's trying to find her dream bridal dress. 
She found a dress, but it's very expensive. It's gonna cost her 10,000 Qatari riyals to wear it once. On the other side, Layla is married, and her wedding dress is taking a lot of space in her closet. She wants to get rid of it before it becomes an old fashion. Sarah was surprised with the prices, and she started looking online to find the perfect dress within affordable prices. She found a website, which is Lisa the Look, that is providing a variety of bridal and evening dresses within affordable prices. So let me tell you how Lisa the Look works. Layla, the dress owner, simply created an account on the website and she clicked on adding a new product. Then she filled out the required information. She filled and uploaded the dress photo, the dress size, color, the original price, and she wrote a description of the dress. And then she simply published it. On the other side, Saira, the bride, she discovered the website and she found a dress that is gonna cost her 2,000 Qatari riyals only. She wanted to rent it for four days and she chose her preferable delivery and return dates. And then she simply added it to the closet and ordered it. Here, Liz the Lick team will pick up the dress from Lila's address, send it to laundry, clean it, pack it, and deliver it to Sara. And after the wedding day, we will return the dress with a profit to Layla. It's completely a new way to share fashion. We will generate money by getting a commission out of selling and renting fashion items, and there will be also a monthly subscription fees. So, renters could rent four items per month and swap each month. Also, we will get a commission out of stylist. There will be also featured listing fees and photography fees. It's a big market. The global annual sales of renting clothes online is $1.8 billion, and it's growing 10% yearly. We are targeting every woman who aged between 20 to 40 years old, lives in Qatar, and earns $27,000 and more per year. Those are our main competitors in the region, but what differentiates us is that we are providing the service here locally in Qatar, within affordable prices, between individuals, and we are focusing on evening and wedding dresses. In the last few weeks, without implementing any marketing campaigns, we already have 130 plus users are selling on the website. On the last month also, we created the first version of the website. We are looking for $50,000 to go faster. This will help us to hire the team and scale the team, and also it will help us to develop the current solution and an application and to do a big marketing campaigns to generate revenue. I know how to grow a profitable business as I worked with the startups for three years as a business development and consultant. So if you would like to take a part of this rental revolution, please contact us and thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Munir Mohamed, and I'm here to present Sahatek, the first Qatari B2B wellness coach platform. The HR in the oil and gas are facing a big increase of accidents related to employee stress, and it's impacting their profit margin. As well, the employees are facing pressure, add on the top of the, the corona, then there is a high risk of absentees and retention issues. It's, it is estimated that there is 30 billion impact of cost related to stress in the workplace. The Qatari government is taking this very seriously and they're targeting by 2022, 55% of the government and semi-government employees should have access to a wellness program. In UAE, Work Farm signed a big contract with Alftem with 200 companies to provide such, such services. And worldwide, WellTalk have 83 million yearly revenue. The market size, it's around 49.8 billion. In the MENA, it's very small, it's 1.3. There is a big opportunity. And we are targeting $1 million in Qatar at start, then we will expand. The companies we're gonna work with are mainly plus 500 organization, Uridu, Qatar, Qatar Airways, and Qatar Petroleum. The age is between 22 to 55. 
and we're gonna target the high risk, then we will expand after that. Because the employee is at the center and we want to enhance him mentally and physically, the, our solution will be a workplace platform which provides services that boost employee productivity, we get them more engaged and happier, they're gonna work more, and as well, increase profitability, less accidents and absentees, and decrease cost turnover because the loyalty is here. Our solutions will be a desktop and a mobile platform. The employee in the oil and gas, his name is Ahmed, will log in to our portal with username and password. He will have a list of services and we, I'm gonna highlight the main ones for this. He will have a small overview of the program and how it's beneficial for him, and this is really important. Then he's gonna go through a health risk assessment and we will upload this to the portal. And if he has, for example, issue with his weight, we will enroll him to a weight management program with the trainings and diet program. And we're not gonna stop here. The physical, we're gonna go as well to the mental. He's gonna do a personality and a mental assessment. And based on the results, he will have access to a wellness coach, a dedicated one. And he will go through a lot of activities. And again, to make him better. And whenever he finishes the program, he will enroll him to a new program to get him engaged. And because of that as well, more engagement, we, he will get points and he will redeem this even in, in, in the HR or with our partners. The revenue model is two packs. The first pack is the, the employees will have access to the homepage, the health risk assessment and the challenges. The price will be between three to six real and the profit margin will be up to 70%. The second pack will be for wellness, dedicated wellness coach. We will charge per hour and it's between 150 to 150 per hour and the profit margin will be up to 66%. There is a big interest in this market and mainly from Qatar Airways, Qatar Petroleum and Uridu and they're waiting for us to develop an MVP to sign an MOU. And this is a good start. In the next coming years, the big challenge or the big milestone will be developing the MVP, sign the MOU, and by 2021, the end of 2021, we'll have a big platform and we will expand. The investment, we're looking for 120,000 real between developing the platform and the marketing. And we're looking as well for free space from the incubator. Our team is a dedicated team to make this company very successful. And we've been working together for the last 13 years with the various uh, expertise. And we are lucky to have in our advisory board a wellness coach with plus 15 years of experience. One eye is replaced by we, even illness become wellness, and Sahatek is here to serve you. Thank you. Okay, hi, I'm Ilona and together with my team, I'm working on Spotted Platform. We're helping highly skilled unemployed expat partners remain professionally active by promoting their skills and experience. You may ask me why it's so important. The research shows that, uh, the research shows that long-term unemployed leads to unfulfilled human potential over a lifetime and affect people's self-worth and can also cause depression. That's why our dream is to provide a purposeful life for those who want to get back the meaning of life. This is me and my family a few days after we arrived in Qatar two years ago. My husband got a great job here and it was obvious that I will also find some, no other option of course, with my experience. Unfortunately, two years later, I'm standing here still without any job in Qatar. I was trying to find some job on internet portals like Gulf Talent or LinkedIn, but I didn't receive any response from recruiters. During these two years, I've met a lot of other women who also trying to find a good job here. Unfortunately, some of them took over home duties and their professional skills started wasting. Bad emotions appear and the family started to think about leaving Qatar for good. We are all aware of the fact that after years of unemployment, we'll be completely out of the job market in Qatar or anywhere else. On the other hand, there are companies here who are struggling to find a good employees. This is a message I received a few days ago from the nursery owner who is struggling to find a good teachers. 
I think we can all help each other a lot. We want to give expert partners a chance to be spotted on Qatar job market where promoting themselves on LinkedIn does not work well enough. On LinkedIn, people present their, their job history or education in textual form. When someone wants to stand out as professionals who is ready to work and is living in Qatar, it's almost impossible. On Spotted, our users present themselves through video CV. They can show themselves as more lively and more interesting candidates. Instead of showing their job history or education, they're presenting the real skills and services they can offer. Moreover, Spotted supports people who are unemployed for a long time by promoting volunteering or part-time jobs in cooperation with local companies. Our users can also become mentors and share their expertise with others. These kind of activities are the best way to get back to the game after a break. Our users live in Qatar and have sponsorship provided, so the companies don't need to worry about relocating them. A recruiter can just choose an expert from list of users, then watch the video, take a look at services an expert offers, and finally book a meeting or a call with him to discuss details. When someone wants to learn new skills or a new profession, he can easily reach out, exp reach out experts who offer mentoring. Such a cooperation is beneficial for both of them. We won't leave our users alone. We are building community with them when, where we are discussing spotted features and we are providing support. And we know our users. We have now more than 150 subscribers and people started sharing our content on social media. We also receive private messages with questions when we are ready. But problem is global. 80% of men and women who decided to follow their spouses around the world remain unemployed. We want to start with Spotted here in Qatar, but then we are going for experts who are not only expert partners, but also experts who want to present themselves in better way than LinkedIn provides. And Spotted can be easily launched as a new platform in different countries. So we will aim to reach millions of users worldwide. We need only 80,000 Qatar reals and we are ready in four months. Our team know exactly what to do. I'm an experienced product designer, Anna is a content creator, and we have also support from project development manager. Are you interested, want to know more? Contact us. And remember, stop calling recruiters. We've spotted, they will call you, this time for sure. Hello everyone, we are NAVSEC, we provide affordable navigation security for all. The team is composed by Dr. Roberto Di Pietro and me, Pietro Tedeschi. GPS spoofing attack enables a hacker to mimic fake positions by transmitting uh, fake GPS satellite signals to the user device. Mark is the CPO of the 3D Hall company and he ordered a key component for their state-of-the-art 3D printer. The logistic people are loading the plane with the key component and when the plane arrives to the warehouse, the component is loaded in a truck. So uh, the attacker, in this case we have the 3D Avery competitor, delays the shipment that is done with the DHL carrier by sending fake GPS signal uh, uh, satellites. So the delay, as you can see here, is in the delivery. But not only we have a waste of time, we can waste of money and we can lose the confidence customers. So it means that our security is compromised. We cannot drive safely. All civil applications are vulnerable and the reliability on the GPS decreases. So we provide the solutions that detect the GPS spoofing attack by using artificial intelligence techniques and machine learning techniques of the signal that received by the GPS satellites. We are the first that authenticate the GPS signal source via software by analyzing the IQ samples that we're receiving from the satellites. And we are able to detect if we are under attack or not, or not as you can see here in our proof of concept. 
Further, about the market demographic, the demographic, the GPS navigation problem affects all the regions in the world. So it means that this problem is not related to only the Qatar, but all the world, because this problem is so huge, it's, it's very, very important to solve. So now I leave the floor to Dr. Roberto Di Pietro. Thank you. Thank you, Pietro. So the market opportunity for our business is quite interesting because in the past years uh, the market uh, was around 38 billion dollars and the cumulative aggregate growth rate is 18% which is one of the highest in the ICT sector. When we go to the business opportunities for our customers, basically we can count among them the possible DHL, UPS, whatever is logistics, we can provide a good solution to it. Not only that, we can also think about uh, Avionics, for instance, Qatar Airways could be very much interested in that, whoever is providing cargo. But what are the real applications? Basically, whatever is a fleet, a fleet of ship, a fleet of truck, as well more drones. Also, other applications, but all of these do require GPS and a reliable GPS. We are the only one that can assure in a way that is really 100% sure. This is actually the budget revenue line. The budget revenue line is uh, what we need to start, roughly less than 400,000 real, and where we will make money out of it. Basically, advertisement for the retail sector, so millions, if not tens of millions of users, and the proversion for our uh, big customers like DHL, I said before. Competitors, there are few in the field, not many, but few but they're not competitive against us for a very simple reason. Our solution is software only. Their solution is basically hardware based, so you need to install a piece of equipment and to maintain the piece of equipment. And also the business revenue model for them is quite expensive for our possible customers. So we will be very competitive also on the money part of the business. Uh, this is us, it's uh, Pietro, a third year PhD student uh, in the CRI lab, which is doing great job in a number of topics uh, including authentication of GPS and drones and other stuff and myself uh, which uh, I have like uh, already founded a startup uh, I have consultancy experience but if you want if you want to know more please have a look at our LinkedIn profiles if you have questions please reach out in the email that I reported there thank you very much thank you to all the teams that presented in the first half an entrepreneur's journey from idea to startup and eventually rapid growth is a challenging journey full of risks but also tremendous rewards. QSTP understands the startup experience and we're committed to supporting your success. We've put together a suite of programs to support you throughout the entire journey. If you're early on in the process, just at the idea stage, Arab Innovation Academy is a hands-on program that teaches university level students how to develop and launch tech startups in the real world. The Accelerate program, which we're part of today, is a 10-week intensive program designed to take your idea, create a prototype, validate its commercial potential, and create a pitch deck, all of the things you should do before you launch your startup. Our Research to Startup program was created to support the research community in Qatar by matching your research team with tech entrepreneurs who will look at opportunities to launch a startup and attract investors. For those who are ready to launch their tech startup, the Incubation Center is for you. You register your startup at QSTP and join our amazing network of over 20 tech startups. We offer you two years of free rent space so that you can focus on growing your company and not worry about paying rent. QSTP will pay it for you. For existing startups and SMEs looking to launch a new product, our product development fund offers in-kind funding for up to 50% of your product development costs with a cap of up to 1.2 million riel. If your startup or SME can finance 50% of the cost, QSTP will match it with their 50%. And finally, for startups seeking investment to drive their growth, our Tech Venture Fund is designed for you. We offer seed funding and Series A funding to help startups rapidly grow their customer base across the region and around the world. Our portfolio of programs are designed to support you throughout the entire startup journey, from idea to growth. So I do hope you reach out to QSTP and take advantage of the programs we offer. With that in mind, let's return to our second half of pitches.
Hello, my name is Alina, and along with my colleague Tekla, I'm a co-founder of Katra. Katra is an online store that imports handmade products from marginalized artisans and sells them to the Qatari market. Meet Nada. Nada is a Palestinian refugee living in Jordan with her three children. She is a highly skilled artisan in embroidery stitching, but does not have the technological skills, market knowledge, or market access to sell her products and earn enough money to feed her family. Like Nada, there are many disadvantaged and marginalized artisans around the world who are unable to achieve their economic potential due to these challenges. The role of Katra is to economically support disadvantaged artisans in the Middle East by importing their products and selling them to the customers in Qatar. Even though Qatar has an abundance of retail shops, our market research of over 200 Qatari women showed that there is a high demand for unique handmade products. For this reason, Qatar is an ideal place to launch our startup. We have also seen from our research that there we have also seen from our research that people are concerned about where their products are coming from and 55% of Qatari women are willing to pay significantly more if they know that the money is going to someone in need. Our main target segment is Qatari women aged between 25 to 45 who care about social issues and value quality in their products. To give confidence to our consumers, we aim to be Qatar's first certified fair trade business in, um, by the World Fair Trade Organization. So how does Qatra work? To begin this process, we have already partnered with seven NGOs. These NGOs have connected us with disadvantaged artisan groups in the Middle East. We are now engaging with these groups to develop products relevant to the Qatari market. Once these products are ready and arrive in Qatar, we will market and sell them to our customers. Now, my colleague Tekla will give you more details about the solution. Thank you, Alina. Um, what makes Katra different from other stores is that we aim to put the spotlight on the artisans behind the items. To illustrate their stories, we will be hiring videographers and photographers to capture the process of production. Our platform is an e-commerce store that will sell high-quality handmade clothing and home decorations. Opening the products page on our Katra store, the customer will be able uh, to select the item they intend to buy, and on the individual page, they will find the story of the product as well as the artisan behind it. As an additional feature, Katra will offer customers an option to place custom orders online. They will be uh, able to select style, color, material, and provide samples of the design. After the order is confirmed, they will also be able to track the progress of production and the delivery. Qatar is a sustainable business. Our revenue streams are uh, sales from individual items as well as custom bulk orders. With price markups from 30 to 40 percent, uh, we are estimating that by third quarters our profits will reach 90,000 Qatari reals. To test the interest and traction of our idea, we ran an Instagram campaign and attached a crowdfunding link to support our endeavor. Within two days, the explanatory video re received more than 11,000 um, uh, views and more than 200 reshares all organically. As a further display of public interest, our crowdfunding page gathered more than 15,000 Qatari reals from uh, 32 backers, and all of this money will go uh, to pay the artisans upfront. To launch an online store of high quality, we need a total of 180,000 reals of investment, uh, and the money will go to building the website, ordering the initial stock, marketing, as well as design fees. Both Alina and myself are master's graduates from Hamad bin Khalifa University, and between us share um, experience in the humanitarian field, project management, and media. Uh, Alina will primarily focus on contacting the artisans and gathering the products, while I will take care of marketing um, and sales. 
Uh, if you'd like to know more about our startup, feel free to reach out to us. Support Qatra and discover the stories behind your products. Thank you so much for your attention. Hi, my name is Baha and I'm a veteran of the construction industry. For the last 15 years, I've been struggling in finding reliable suppliers that are always consistent and able to deliver products as needed. Also, I've worked as a supplier and I found it very expensive for me to reach a bigger uh, database of clients and potential business opportunities. This problem that I face on a day-to-day -day basis is not uh, uncommon. It's a very common thing in the construction industry. Um, contractors from the contractor and client side, they have a limited reach to reliable suppliers. We also have to rely on our limited database and previous experience, as well as referrals from people we can trust. Uh, online search is uh, unfortunately very restrictive and not many much information is available on the reliability of the suppliers online. For suppliers, the problem is that it's very expensive and we have to invest a lot of money in getting uh, access to uh, the projects that are available. We have to hire salespeople and we have to market ourselves. So the solution that we are proposing is through BAT. It's an online portal which collects the suppliers to the contractors and where the contractors can come and post a request for quotation and suppliers can tender based on that. It also has a section for immediate product per procurement or products that are readily available and don't need customization. And most importantly, an innovative system that we are putting is that an offline support where if the client cannot able to find certain materials online, they can go and ask for our offline support and our team of professionals will be able to aid in that. To look into the details of the product, I'll be handing over to my colleague Fatma. Hi, let's delve into BAB's website. As you can see, suppliers can post full technical details of their product, including certifications, product data sheets, and approval. And find further details, such as supplier ranking and customer reviews. The customer has the option to submit an RFQ for bulk orders or buy immediately in low quantity orders. The RFQ system is for custom order or services. The contractor fills in the RFQ and submits it. Then the system automatically matches the RFQ to multiple suppliers that can do the job. The match suppliers preview the assigned RFQ on their private dashboard in an organized manner. If they click on a certain RFQ, the supplier will be able to view further information and submit an offer. Suppliers and contractors can negotiate a request until a final agreement is reached. BAB is a comprehensive solution that ma offers many features. BAB is keen to provide sustainability and green building materials and products for contractors to always have the option of building healthier and safer living spaces and care for the environment. BAB runs on a subscription model and offers three different packages to choose from. I'll hand to my colleague, Baha, to continue. Regarding the market size, needless to say that BAB has a huge potential. We have in Qatar an $85 billion industry, and that's also scalable into other industries, such as the oil and gas sector. The, the market is growing at a 7% uh, growth rate per annum, and this holds a lot of potential for the future. Um, with regards to competition, actually the competition is very limited. Whatever available in the market is focused on the business to customer. Few focus is on the B2B and this is where we come in. Further, whatever is available in the B2B sector is not interactive. There are many near directories which uh, suppliers post their products and they are not comprehensive. Also, there is no way to interact between the suppliers and the contractors. They have to do it manually through calling or through email. So what we're offering is a platform that enables that and facilitates that. We're looking for uh, an investment of $150,000 for us to go faster into the market. We're already developing the product and we're expecting to release it by the end of the year. But having these funds will allow us to market the product and to get more traction from the contractors and suppliers at the same. We've been in talks with several uh, suppliers and contractors for the last couple of months and we've got very good uh, feedback from the industry. People are eager and companies and these are some of them are eager to come and work and advertise for us or utilize our servers when it's available. The team is comprised of uh, Ms. Fatima, my colleague, who is a very experienced uh, business development manager and project manager. 
and who's handling the business development aspect of the business. And I myself, I bring uh, an accumulative experience of 15 years working in the Middle East, Africa, and uh, Southeast Asia in the construction and supply industry. Thank you very much. Therapy is a financial structure that builds savings to realize your aspiration. Simply, the Fitbit of your wallet. We have been inspired by His Highness, Sheikh Tameen bin Hamad Al Thani, for the air and need to change our spending habits. Let's be honest, most of us find it hard to manage our finance or overspend our monthly budget, and how it is inconvenient to split a bill when going out. The Qatari market. Qatar payment system is worth 4.3 billion Qatari riyals. The majority of people are willing to explore fintech products. Qatar is, is mostly relying on oil and gas while having a revenue, a 12% revenue uh, for financial services. Our solution, Kerfi is your digital wallet, providing a fully digital solution, giving you higher visibility analysis to take control of your time, uh, spending. Uh, enabling at ease peer-to-peer -peer transactions, no need to hustle anymore, send and receive made easy. Just look into your contact list to find other Kerfi users. Finally, Hassala. Hassala saving pots is a better way to save money for your bucket list. Now I'll hand you to my partner, Mohammed. So with the application homepage, you'll be able to see the balance of your account and see the latest outgoing and incoming transactions. When you tap on the payment, you'll be able to see which category is assigned to and reassign it if needed. There is also a safe place where you could upload the receipt and save it. Uh, if you want to come back to it later, you can just look up the transaction and find the receipt. Then with a simple tap, you can split the payment with your friends, specify how much you would like to split and if you're out with them you can use also the proximity feature to automatically add them to the to the split of the bill then with insights you can see and have a higher financial visibility of your spending and you'd be more aware of your spending habits so if you're overspending in a specific category you can assign a budget to it to stay on track with the send and receive feature you would be able to send and receive payments using only your phone mobile number and you would be able to review the payment requests that have been sent to you. With Hassal, Hassal is a goal-based saving pot where it could have one or multiple owners. So for example, it would charge when you pay for a transaction that's 95 Qatar Riyal, it would charge 5 Riyal and save it to the Hassal. For the shared pot, a group of friends can share it, for example, to chip in together to go to a trip or pay for a vacation. Our revenue is subscription-based annually. We'll have three tiers. Each tier will have all the main features, but they would have value-added features. For example, the higher tier would have lounge access and would have higher reward scheme. In terms of competitors, we don't have direct competitors who has the same aim to improve daily financial lifestyle, but we have the competitors in the same fintech field in Qatar. We hope to work together to improve Qatar's fintech uh, space. We need around 370,000 uh, to develop our prototype and MVP and for also marketing. Uh, the founders, me, myself, Hamad Suleiman, I'm familiar with the Qatar startup ecosystem. I have worked previously with the digital incubation center at MOTC and my partner, Abdul Aziz al -Mari, he is familiar with the fintech startups and uh, invested in early stage startups in Europe. Uh, thank you for listening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Iman Al Hamad, and I am the founder of Amina. Amina is a software that provides security, privacy, protection for users against fraud and phone calls. It takes only 20 milliseconds to detect the fraud and alert user. One day, my mother was in a call with a hotel making reservation. As usual, they ask her for banking details to confirm their reservation. After providing their details, they told her that, oh, we have a problem with the system. We will contact you in a minute. She waits and waits and waits until an hour. 
she calls them back and the, the shocking thing that they told her we don't have a person with that name. Finally, we lost that there was an insider in the call and my mother provided the details to the father. My mother it wasn't the only person who faced this problem. The, every day we hear stories of many and many people who provide their banking details and not only that, also lose money because of fraud activities. The study shows that the increased rate of fraud activities and social engineering in 2020 was 600% due to COVID-19. And this number will increase year by year because of our highly dependency on online activities. Currently, companies try to solve these problems by awareing their, awareing their users through awareness sessions, awareness messages, and post awareness posters. But actually, these methods don't work well because the fraudster keep changing their ways and techniques, and we need a system to protect users. And even if the person is skilled in uh, expert in cybersecurity or caution about their personal information, they may, may feel victim to social engineering activities. So, our solution is a software that uses artificial intelligence to detect and alert user in fraud activities. When, when there is a communication between two, uh, two sides, the system will start to analyze the, calls, the call and alert the user when there is any fraud activities. How does it work? In the beginning, the system did uh, authenticate the caller ID, authenticate the caller ID, and uh, if, the, if the caller ID is not blacklisted, it will connect the call to the receiver. And then it will start to analyze the call, and if there is any potential of fraud activities, it will alert the user. Because if weather keep changing their ways and techniques, also our system will keep changing and update it itself to keep updated with the latest techniques. So it will update it using social media to find out what are the information that available on social media regarding the user that can be used against the user. Also, it will use the, the, the updated news that can be used in for activities Combining these, uh, act, these, uh, these information will help to update the system. Amina is a real-time system that is uh, designed for Arabic language. It's both for security as a service and it, it allows the user to view and browse the logs and it is customizable, which means the user can customize the, uh, when the system is working and when it doesn't work. Also, it can customize the severity level of the system. Does the user want it to be high sensitive, low, medium sensitive, or low sensitive? Also, the user have the options to control what action to take in case in any fraud activity detected. As for our business model, uh, we, our business model is monthly subscription fee that the user have to pay for the services. Our target segment is uh, call centers that provide services for their customers uh, through uh, phone calls and need to transfer personal banking information. As for the market size, the market size is increasing every year worldwide. And as for Qatar, the market size is, is, is growing 30% each year to be reaching $3,014 million in 2022. In order to continue with this project that has highly potential need and will solve a serious problem, we need an investment of $719,000 and it will take us nine months to complete the project. We have a team of experts to, who, are, uh, who are experts in, uh, in, uh, in uh, who are experts in uh, cybersecurity and artificial intelligence, and they are highly skilled in uh, highly skilled and have passion in this uh, project. Amna is the future of security and the privacy for safe phone calls. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Sarah Brigid, electrical engineer. Of course, all of you know that more than 100 years ago, the method to detect bone injuries is X-ray. X-ray is an inconvenient device. It requires the patient to go to an X-ray room and wait for their turn. Hospitals are overburdened with unnecessary overusing of X-ray. 
it is costly to the medical system and what if the patient doesn't have a fracture is it really worth being exposed to such radiation my research indicated that 80 percent of time people don't need an x-ray but they just do it to be safe our solution is a scan scope a portable handheld that is based on near infrared technology and detects ahead of time the bone status if it's a fracture or no fracture and eliminate the high radiation exposure for a patient who doesn't need an x-ray we want to make sure that 99 percent of patients who goes to x-ray have a fracture the value of our solution not just cost and time for the patient it will also rescue the technician of the unnecessary usage of x-ray films and radiation exposure the most beneficial users are ambulance for just in case there is an accident outside or in the playground and sport teams there is a patient who might have a fracture the ambulance will always have the device with them to make sure medical centers especially many medical centers doesn't have an x-ray machines due to the high value also hospitals and emergency rooms instead of letting all the patients enter the x-ray rooms there will be in the emergency rooms a portable handheld device. Um, hospitals with an existing X-ray system typically cost $62,000 to $140,000 depending on the size and the type of the flat panel. The new fully digital portable X-ray units about will cost about $125,000 to $235 thousand dollars depending on the maximum output options and the type of detector selected however scanscope will cost only five thousand dollars and we have no competitors in the market how much we need we need five hundred thousand kd for one year to have a fully finished product that is ready for markets our team members are Sarabur Jaib, me, I'm the team leader, and Dr. Ali Hajiya, Dr. Ibrahim Sultan, Engineer Shumukh al Chawi, Engineer Khawthar Al-Mujagi, and Engineer Sarah Al-Amran. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you to all the teams that have pitched. Now it's time to vote for your favorite team. Please note that you can only vote for one team, so vote wisely. The three teams with the highest number of votes will be declared the winners. If you're watching from qstplive.com, you can vote for your favorite team on the right-hand side. If you're watching from Facebook, please go to qstplive.com, register, and go to the live stream page, then vote for your favorite team on the right-hand side. You have 10 minutes to vote for your favorite team. Stay tuned as I announce the winners after the voting. Online voting is now open. Good luck to all the teams. Thank you all for voting. The results are in. And the winners are... Sahatek. Lease the look. And Carti. Congratulations to the winners and thank you all for joining us today. For those interested in the Accelerate program or any of our other programs, please visit our website qstp.org.qa and connect to our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Stay safe and have a great day.